Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I have a fun little trio of cards using watercolors and a few different Unity stamp sets, uh, mainly featuring the image from Sassy Boots with a Melody, and then a couple of different sentiments from uh, two different Gracie Ellie Design stamp sets. I love those for the sentiments. They always have such beautiful ones. I'm using some Distress uh, Ranger Distress watercolor paper. I love this paper because it's um, one of the whitest ones I found. As far as color, um, some watercolor paper can be kind of off-white. And I love that there is two different options for texture. Uh, the reverse side is a little smoother, the front side um, has a little more texture, but I like using that smoother reverse side for stamping on. Um, it's a little easier to get a good dark impression. Um, using your Misty helps as well, um, but even without that you can get a better image. I'm using Versafine uh, Pigment Black Ink. It's a watercolor friendly ink and it's one of my favorites and I'm leaving those boots just lined up in there and each time um, I add in a new piece of paper I'm just swapping out the sentiment lining it up where I want and even though as you can see you got a little bit of a boot print on there it doesn't matter because you're gonna stamp it there again anyway um, so it's a good way to be able to make a set of cards if you want um, keeping your same image but swapping out the sentiments without having to completely clean that stamp set off and change everything each time so it's just an easy way to line everything up so I'm gonna stamp that final one there and I'm gonna just do these in kind of a assorted rainbow of color <laughs> excuse the top of my head there every time I lean over my head just kind of pops in there I can't really help it um, anyway so I've got those all stamped now. I'm going to set my Misty aside and I'm going to pull out, um, I'm going to use my Gansey Tamby watercolors and just a plain white water brush. And I also like to keep just uh, a wet wipe. That's the same one I use to clean my stamps off, but that's how I like to clean my water brush. And I'm going to set two of those aside and I'm going to go around with my clean water brush and just kind of wet the area around the outside of my image. Um, for these cards, I decided to just add color around the outside. And by pre-wetting that, as you can see, as I drop the color in, it'll kind of flow out and it just adds a neat effect. Um, for each one of these, I chose three or four different colors, just kind of in coordinating um, color combos and added just the different colors, just kind of popped them in in different spots. This one is kind of shades of mint and teal. And I just built up the color. I started with a soft little bit. And then if it was a little too dark, I just cleaned my brush off a little bit and added a little more water to blend it in and then a little bit of kind of an emerald green color in there as well. And then when I was all done, I went around the outside edges and just added a little more soft um, color and a little more water to help that blend out. So that first one's done, I'm gonna move on to the next color. And for this one, once again, I'm going around with that water brush and just wetting the area around the image um, so it'll flow out and then it makes it a little easier not to accidentally go over the edges into my image. If you do a little, that's the beauty of watercolor. It really doesn't matter and it's still going to look great. Um, I love that about watercolors. There's the imperfection is what makes it beautiful. So for this one, I stuck with different shades of green. I kind of did a lime green, um, kind of a mid-tone grass green, and then a darker, more emerald forest green. And same thing, just kind of pop the color in. Uh, blend it out a little bit when you're done with all the water. Look at how fast this goes and they're all unique and beautiful. I love um, I love watercoloring like this around a more detailed image. It just lets the detail of the image shine um, but it adds a fun pop of color and an interest and it just it makes me happy and it's so quick and easy to do. This final one I'm going to do in shades of blue. I started with kind of a cornflower periwinkle light blue and then building in with darker color um, around the other sides and as you can see too you don't even have to have um, different color I like the variation of the different colors but you can easily do this with one and just um, put it on darker and lighter in different areas all right once those are done I let them all dry I die cut with a simple stitch rectangle die and just added them onto white card bases and you have a beautiful simple set of cards Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you are inspired and I hope you'll give this technique a try. Can't wait to see what you make. Have a great day.